I think what's important to not to forget, Francois, is that this competition as a whole has been a massive success. And yes, if we do take into consideration that perhaps there won't be lasting changes in Russia to problems such as racism, homophobia, things like that, what it certainly has done, and I think it's important to, to keep that in mind, is it has opened up the idea to that. A lot of fans, as you were saying earlier, uh, you know, very happy with how it's gone. Even with the tensions, for example, between England and Russia, the UK and, and Russia in recent times, all the, the England fans have been welcomed, you know, very nicely by the Russians. It's been a real party. It, it is a sporting event. And I think that once the competition gets underway, you have to focus on the sport because the World Cup in itself is a party. You go there to play football. And as soon as you get sidetracked by all, all the, the things that happen outside the pitch, you kind of deviate from what the World Cup is. You know, FIFA, one of the core rules of FIFA is that there shouldn't be any political, any, any religious, um, you know, implications from teams, from anything. You know, even wearing the poppy, for example, you know, England and Scotland received a ban for that. So... I think that anything outside of the sports world... Of course, it's world, naive to think that uh, the, the host country doesn't reap political benefits for, or that Emmanuel Macron, he doesn't just travel to St. Petersburg because he's a football fan. He, re, he goes there because it's a politically smart move to, to, to make. Absolutely, but not for one second, I believe, Macron would have gone to... Uh, to the semi-final and France hadn't made that and the, the fact that France is there is due simply to their to their sporting uh, abilities and therefore I think that's what's important to to keep in mind.